Thanks, Jessica. Um, so I'm reading um, a work by Mina Loy. I actually have no idea really how to pronounce the title of it. I've been saying it wrong for the past like two weeks when people ask me what I'm reading. Um, I've been saying songs for Joannes, but I don't think that's it. Um, but whatever. It's is it Jonas? Juanes? I have no idea. <laughs> Joannes? Oh, okay, good. I was like, that sounds weird, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So, <laughs> songs to Joannes. I'm just going to read um, some of my favorite sections. Um, and this poem's not about winter or about love or about sex. So. <laughs> One. <clears throat> or mothers. Spawn of fantasies, silting the appraisable pig Cupid, his rosy snout, rooting erotic garbage. Once upon a time, pulls a weed, white and star-topped, among wild oats, sown in mucous membrane. I would an eye in a Bengal light, eternity in a sky rocket, constellations in an ocean, whose rivers run no fresher than a trickle of saliva. These are suspect places. I must live in my lantern, trimming subliminal flicker, virginal to the bellows of experience, colored glass. Two. The skin sack in which a wanton duality packed all the completion of my inf infruc infructuous impulses, something the shape of a man to the casual vulgarity of the merely observant, more of a clockwork mechanism running down against time, to which I am not paced. My fingertips are numb from fretting your hair, a god's doormat on the threshold of your mind. 13. Come to me. There is something I have got to tell you, and I can't tell something taking shape, something that has a new name, a new dimension, a new use, a new illusion. It is ambient, and it is in your eyes, something shiny, something only for you, something that I must not see. It is in my ears, something very resonant, something that you must not hear, something only for me. Let us be very jealous, very suspicious, very conservative, very cruel, or we might make an end of the jostling of aspirations, disorb in violent egos. Where two or three are welded together, they shall become God. Oh, that's right. Keep away from me. Please give me a push. Don't let me understand you. Don't realize me. Or we might tumble together, depersonalized, identical, into the terrific nirvana. Me, you, you, me. 14. Today, everlasting, passing, apparent, imperceptible to you, I bring the nascent virginity of myself for the moment. No love or the other thing, only the impact of lighted bodies knocking sparks off each other in chaos. <laughs>